Our third application is our neurosensory application. It is by far the most commonly used application, and it covers things like pain, muscle tension and range of motion, acute pain, and proprioception. Let's start by taking a look at the pain pathway and then seeing how SpiderTech can interrupt this pathway to decrease pain. For the sake of this demonstration, let's assume that she's just injured the left side of her rector spinae, and then we'll follow the pain, pain pathway backwards. So from the site of the injury, a nociceptive signal would be sent to the spinal cord through a slow pain C fiber. It would travel to the posterior side of the, of the spinal cord, cross over to the anterior lateral side, and then come all the way up the spinal cord to the brain. At this point, her brain would decide what happens. Commonly, her brain would send a signal back down the spinal cord, giving her a sensation of pain. What we'd also see is the inability to contract the muscles in a strong way. Kelly, what would you do if you had pain in this part of the back? Exactly. You would stimulate the touch receptors in that part of the back. And that is precisely what SpireTech is doing. It's providing constant rub on the back at that area. It's activating the mechanoreceptors to provide constant feedback at that area. So for this application, can you bend forward for me? Good, and round the back as far as we can to get as much stretch through these muscles as we can. So how that works is with the stimulation from the tape on the skin, grips the skin to, to provide constant skin stimulation. With that stimulation, we rely on one of the mechanoreceptors called the Merkel cell. What the Merkel cell does is it sends a, a message to the spinal cord. The reason why we rely on the Merkel cell is it picks up skin stretch and it's very sensitive to the stretch. It requires a very little stretch to activate the cell. In fact, one micrometer of stretch is enough to send a signal to the brain. The interesting thing here is the Merkel cell signal is much bigger and stronger than the pain signal is. In fact, it, it arrives to the spinal cord 40 times faster than the pain signal does. Can you stand for me? So at this point, we have two competing messages being sent to the spinal cord. We have the one from the nociceptive fiber, and we have the bigger, stronger one from the Merkel cell, which is a, what is called an A-beta nerve fiber. With the A-beta fiber being so much bigger and stronger, that signal becomes more important. And as it enters the spinal cord on the left side, the two of them come together, and the stronger signal outcompetes the pain signal. And so what ends up happening is the pain sensation doesn't ever cross the spinal cord into the right side to be able to go up to the brain. The brain doesn't even know what happened. Now that we've covered the science, let's take a look at our ProCut applications. Our first study is a 2013 study from Spain where they looked at the effect of kinesiology tape on ankle range of motion and calf pain. The study took place at, during a duathlon where the contestants run, bike, and then run again. When the athletes showed up that day, they tested one leg's range of motion of the ankle, then they put tape on, then they tested the ankle range of motion again, and then they had the race, and they tested it one more time. And what they found is the tape leg, compared to the leg without tape, had a little more than one centimeter greater ankle range of motion instantly. They found that there was a decrease in pain in the calf of 38% instantly. And then after the race was over, they found that there was a 19% decrease in calf pain compared to the leg that didn't have tape. Our next study is a 2011 study from Italy. And it looks at the effect of kinesiology tape on chronic low back pain. If we take a moment to understand chronic low back pain, it's a change in how the brain registers and controls the signaling to that area. The brain has changed how it activates a muscle. The Merkel cell, which kinesiology tape and SpiderTech activates, is the, in the perfect position to disrupt that pathway because of the way that it consistently and constantly provides new feedback to the brain. In this study, they used surface EMG to evaluate when someone bends forward, do their low back muscles relax? This is a hallmark sign of chronic low back pain, is when they bend forward to touch their toes, their low back erectors, their muscles in the low back, don't relax. 
And what they found with the people who have the flexion relaxation issue, when they applied the tape, what they found was instantly 44% of the people in the study had a correction of their flexion relaxation issue. In addition to that, 33% of the people in the study instantly decreased their pain level by at least 20%. In our next study, a 2018 study out of Austria looked at can kinesiology tape counteract the exercise-induced impairment in elderly patients. What they looked at in the study was postural stability, dynamic stability, and proprioception. They applied tape to the knee and thigh of each one of the subjects. They put them on a treadmill for 30 minutes to fatigue the area, and then they retested again. A week later, they had the same people come back. They went through the same protocol, except without tape. And what they found was that there's a 20% decrease in their postural stability. There was a 16% decrease in their dynamic stability, and there was a 53% decrease in their proprioceptive ability. Whereas the tape group saw minimal decreases of 3%, zero, and again, 3% in proprioceptive ability. And what they concluded is that kinesiology tape on the knee has the ability to counteract the negative effects that exercise and fatigue has on the body. The reason is, is because the tape on the thigh and knee provide a constant skin stimulation, activating the mechanoreceptors, provides proprioceptive awareness to the brain, so the person can, can maintain their normal baseline of proprioceptive ability, even when they're fatigued. From a psychological standpoint, this is massive. This means that when your patients are scared and concerned about going for that first walk after an injury, that they're not gonna be able to do it without hurting themselves again, you can apply kinesiology tape to the area that they are weak in, and you'll know that during their walk or their exercise routine, that the negative effects that occur because of the fatigue will be counteracted leaving them stronger, better able to control their body, and confident.